Hello everybody, my name is Christoph Gern. I give you a short overview of how to send OpenShift events to an Apache Kafka topic. We are reusing a proof of concept from the NMAS project called Barnabas. This is deploying Kafka as a stateful set on top of OpenShift and we are using the Heptio event router including a Kafka sync pull request. So first of all, let's start OpenShift. I'm using OpenShift Origin version 3.6 and as you can see, it's starting up on my local laptop. I will grant a few permissions to the service account called my project. So this permissions will enable us to see all the events happening on the whole cluster as this service account. If we head over to the web console, we see that OpenShift created the My Project uh, for me automatically. So we will use this project to deploy all the components. First of all, let's deploy Apache Kafka. We will deploy Apache Kafka as a stateful set. This has been done as a proof of concept uh, called Barnabas by the NMAS Messaging as a Service project. We will add a label called Apache Kafka to the application so that OpenShift Web Console will group all these components very nicely. You see that the application is starting up. The um, stateful set is deploying three ports for Kafka. Let's have a look at the Web Console. Here's the application and the three ports will be created very shortly. Here we go. So a stateful set will keep these three pods up and running. Good, let's have a look at the console. If we look at the log output of the Kafka pods, for example, pod zero, you see that Kafka has been started. Next thing, uh, the event router, Heptio event router. This is basically picking up all Kubernetes um, events and send them onto so-called sinks. I have included a patch uh, into the Heptio event router to send out to Apache Kafka. This patch has not been merged by now. In addition to that, I provided um, a OpenShift template to deploy the router. As you can see, I'm using my own container image for this. So let's deploy this template. Uh, we process this. Uh, then we create it. I'll show the, you the logs. Uh, we see that sync Kafka has been enabled and we see that the event router has been started. Switching back to the UI, we see the event router, one pod is up and running. And I would like to give you a short view on how I did the configuration. Uh, the deployment template of OpenShift is using a so-called config map. And within this config map, I have created a section that is holding the JSON format configuration for the event router. This has been mounted into the part as a file so that Heptio event router can read from it. The next component is a tiny dumping application, Happy Squaker, by one of my colleagues. It's a Python application, which is simply dumping everything that is coming in via a Kafka topic. Um, so deploying this application is quite easy on OpenShift. We simply need to tell it that we want to create a new application and from which Git repository. Uh, all the components of the application will be deployed and created by OpenShift itself. So let's have a look at the status. Here are the components. It's a service and a deployment configuration and the corresponding build configuration. As you can see, the event router dumper has been deployed and it's up and running. Let's have a look at the logs and we see a lot of events coming in from OpenShift. These are the events. Each event is either added, deleted, or updated. Good. So let's give a little bit of load to the topic. I'll create a new project just for testing and create a new, basically empty Ruby application. This is really just to get some load into the Apache Kafka topic. You see that events are coming in from OpenShift. You see that parts get created, parts for the build itself, parts for the deployment. And you see that the Ruby application in the end is running. Once in Kafka, you can do whatever you want to these events. That's it. Thanks for watching and thanks for some feedback.